Hey guys, what is up? It's Nico again here, and in this video we're going to talk about print orientation so we can maximize your printing time and your filament. Alright you guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions on the Facebook group um, about print orientation and how to orient a helmet and so on and so forth. Um, we're going to go to the computer and I'm going to show you guys what I mean and then we're going to come back in here so I can show you some stuff that I printed and how the method of thinking for this works. You're going to need a knack for it, so we'll, um, we'll get there. Right. Print orientation. So. The reason why I want to go over this is because we want to maximize the amount of filament that we use and print as fast as possible because um, if you're like me, I don't like waiting. So the first thing we have to remember is that these FDM printers um, print on a horizontal plane. So if you have anything hanging like this um, forehead part of the Iron Man helmet, which by the way, you can get on my website at nicoindustries.com. The uh, link is in the bottom of the description. When the nozzle gets to this part to print and there's nothing underneath it to hold it up, it's just going to lay down plastic and it's going to be spaghetti. And you're not going to print this part right here. You're just probably going to print, I don't know, maybe from right here. All right. And so that's why we just need support. <clears throat> now, I, normally, I uh, hit Control L, which is um, making sure that you lay a facet on the bed or a face on the bed. Normally this is how I print. I print it upside down. Now this chin piece right here is still going to need support, but I'm going to use far less supports than if I would have printed it right side up. So I'm going to show you. So if I was to print this, look, the entire inside of the helmet is filled with supports. You're using so much plastic and this is going to take like however many days to print and that sucks. Okay. So we don't want that. Now, if you do it this way and then you do the supports, it's a lot less supports, right? And so sometimes what I do is I'll get rid of all of these as well. And these right here. Um, I'll, I would leave these, I would definitely get rid of this. Now, if you're, if you look at this, right, when you're printing, it's printing at a horizontal plane. If you look at this, is, this is at an angle, which means it has a layer before it that it can lay upon just sticking out of just a little bit. I'll show you guys what I mean in, in, um, over in the shop physically, but this does not need support. So what I would do is I would take move existing supports. This, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't need any of these. All right. So that's what I would do when I orient helmets. Now, let me show you guys something else. This is the Iron Man Infinity War shoe. All right. Now, all I did for this was I lined supports all along the edges right here of the shoe. And that's all I did. Um, because this shape right here, this concave shape, lets me print without any supports. Now, according to this, it needs to be full of supports. But I have printed this completely without supports. And it came out perfect. I'll show you guys in the shop. And the reason being, when you print, it, remember I told you that stairway kind of angle? It does that. If it's straight up, it's good. The only reason you need supports, if it's a 90 degree angle, like if, if the surface is parallel to the build plate, then you need supports. If it's not, if it's at an angle, even if it's at an angle about like that, this way, you're fine. Okay. So let me show you guys. That's how I orient things. That's how, uh, you should lay things on the printer. Um, I'm going to go back in the shop and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Okay? All right. So here's that shoe that I was telling you about. It 
does not have any supports from underneath it. it. I didn't print anything underneath it. You guys can see little fuzzies down there. <laughs> I need the retraction adjusted. <laughs> anyway, so this thing printed no supports, and here's why. I'm gonna take this piece of foam right here. All right, so when you have this shape right here, when you have this shape right here, it prints on a horizontal plane. So just print, 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 print. It's fine up until you get to about here when it's starting to become horizontal, okay? That's fine because it's not parallel to the ground or not the ground, the build plate, all right? If it was hanging like this, right, this edge right here, then this is going to need supports, but the rest of it won't. So here's your question. When you do the helmet, do you really just need to put supports where that forehead piece is? Theoretically, yes, that's fine. Somebody go test it out. I haven't. I'm too scared to because I don't really like wasting plastic or wasting time or filament. Um, if you do, let me know and we'll post your results in the channel. But yeah, that's how you guys orient your prints. It's, it's really super easy, really super simple. Just think of a flower blooming, right? You, ha you have to build it up you just like this <laughs> yes you have to build that way so i have to build up if there's anything any overhangs it's going to need support if it's if the if the plane is a flat and it's parallel to the build plate it's going to need support if it's a, a shape where it's like like this nah it doesn't need support because the the layers that you put the next layer can sit on that layer and this is going to sit on each layer as it goes up. Okay? So, that's it for orientation. And that's it uh, for the orientation video. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I have the best fans in the world. Thank you all for watching. Um, make sure you guys follow us in the 3D Printed Armor and Weapon Props Facebook group. Links down below. And if you guys want free files, um, like uh, Stormtrooper Samurai Helmet. Uh, I got three Iron Man helmets free to download. It's 100 million percent free on my website at nicoindustries.com. Link is also down at the bottom. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Thank you guys again for watching. Here are some videos for you guys to watch. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram at nico.industries if you guys want to see more of my personal life. Shout out to all my peeps. Uh, Nolan Etheridge, Tim Wilson, he's doing the website right now. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, bye. <laughs>